Welcome to White Shoulders Boar Goats and Farmstead. This video is an introduction to our newest buck member, Here's Johnny. There's Jade inside the feeder sticking her head out the side. Here's why we can't have anything nice. Jade is inside the hay feeder. Yep. Well, she hasn't come out yet. Ooh, I heard a car. Sprinkling. Here's Johnny. Johnny has arrived. Oh, and Pip's telling him about it. Here's Johnny, our new buck. Isn't he pretty? They usually stand really still when you take a picture of them and they pee. <laughs> He's a year and a half old. We did some swapping and we got this nice fella come out here for our girls. Johnny is also a registered full blood buck and we're happy that he's here. You will notice that Johnny is wearing a breeding harness. Um, I use this on all my bucks because I like to know when my does are bred and I'll make a video at another time to show you how to put it on. So this is just an introduction to Johnny and his breeding group. And of course, Festus has to be the center of attention. Johnny has been wandering around, checking out all the girls, uh, seeing who's ready to uh, be bred. Um, he's doing his job well. He's herding them up. Johnny actually kept all the girls in the um, shed while it was raining. Here's Pip on the round bells. Checking things out. Hey Pipper! What are you doing, buddy? Are you hanging out? No idea how he gets up there. You cannot see them, but they are in the shed, uh, except for Mirabelle, who is in the feeder. Um, it is raining. It has been raining since um, Sunday, I think. So I haven't been able to get very many videos for Friday's video. So, but you can barely make her out, but there's Jenna. So it's Thursday and uh, it's not raining, which is rare. Um, this is more of Johnny's introduction. So this is Jewel. Jewel has a purple <laughs> spot on her behind. So she has been covered by Johnny. And uh, Johnny's a talking. He doesn't like me coming to look at the girls. There's a better view. Um, 
you can tell when the um, marking harness marks the does because it usually marks them right over the top of their hips and down their tailbone and that is a good sign that this doe was bred and she was probably bred last night they do a lot of cool weather breeding so of course we have Festus over here helping now that one has some purple on her back on her hip but I'm not real sure if he bred her or not I did write it down because I write down all the new marks and when you write down the new marks you can pinpoint your due dates so that's how I do that <laughs> hi Johnny <laughs> <laughs> Jade has a few little purple spots on her back and on her hip. She is a little dirty, but I'm not sure um, if she bred or not. It's cooled off out here some. So, uh, hi, how you doing? Bucks make all kinds of noises. Uh, they snort, they stick their tongue out, they blubber, sound like they're half dead and dying. That's just a buck. The more noise they make and the stinkier they are because they pee on themselves, the more fascinated the girls are with them. So it's like a mating ritual for them. Well, thank you for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and drop me a comment.